YouTube fam, I'm about to show y'all how I made the most juiciest, buttery, garlic and herb turkey breast ever that I ever made. Can y'all please stay tuned? Season Yaya's catering, original spicy blend. I really put that on everything. Yaya's catering, original, that soul food spice. Only seasoning you need to have your food taste right. YouTube fam, welcome or welcome back to the channel. So, on the menu today, we are going to do chicken breast. So, let's get this bad boy out of the packaging, cleaned, and dried off. So right here on display, we have our a beautiful turkey breast that has already been cleaned and dried off. I'm going to use some of this Tony Saturi's injectable roasted garlic and herb on this turkey breast today, y'all. Listen, it just came out so good. And right here, y'all, in the bowl, I have some butter melted with, I'm about to show you the seasoning roasted garlic and herb and that poultry southern blend i'm trying to keep like a theme here i'm trying to keep all the flavors in unison so like i said again we're going to inject it with that buttery herb and garlic and then we are also going to season it with that herb and garlic y'all So let me also tell y'all, oh my gosh, when I tell you I struggled, I struggled with this injectable butter contraction, contraption, y'all, I was struggling. I was struggling so bad because I haven't used one of these. I was just like, but I, I had the taste for it. I was like, yo, it's going to give this because I usually just use like butter, go under the skin, rub some butter. I like never use the injectable anymore. Y'all, when I tell y'all it was not even because the needle had two holes in it, one at the bottom, one at the top. So my little shallow bowl was not working out for me, y'all. I was like, I almost said forget it. But I was like, this butter smells so good. It has to be injected into this turkey breast. So look at me, y'all. Right here, I'm just struggling. It was a struggle. I'm confused. I'm like, because why is it not? It, it just was a hot mess. It was a hot mess. It was a hot mess, y'all, in the beginning. So bear with me, y'all. Stay tuned. I see how I had started to get an attitude and I started stabbing the crap out of the turkey breast. Listen, when I tell you, I got frustrated. I was getting frustrated, y'all. Okay, so y'all, now let's take our beautiful melted down butter that I already infused with those two seasonings. That is the only seasoning that I use for this turkey breast. That is it. I wanted to keep it nice, simple, but flavorful. So now I'm just going to base the outside with it. I'm going to flip it upside down, left side, right. Y'all already know we got to get every inch of the turkey breast. I'm going to peel that skin back, all that. So sit back and enjoy. Original spicy blend, I really put that on everything, Yaya's catering. Original, that's so full spice. Only 
Holy season and you need to have your full taste right. All right, let's get it. Uh, I said I put that on everything. Chef Tease and Yaya's catering. Original spicy blend. I really put that on everything. Yaya's catering. Original, that soul food spice. Only seasoning you need to have your food taste right. On everything. Chef Tease and Yaya's catering. Original spicy blend. I really put that on everything. Yaya's catering. Original, that soul food spice. Only seasoning you need to have your food taste right. Barbecues, bar mitzvahs, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all white affair on Delavan, season your dish up. I got mine for free, but you can get yours online at hccpiscatering.com or Delavan and Pansy at the store. You can purchase that. Your food tastes blend. So then, you guys, after I was done, like, buttering it up, I went in with a little bit more of seasoning. Because I really want this breast to be nice and flavorful. So I went ahead, hit a little bit of seasoning underneath that skin. Hit a little bit of seasoning on the top. Because that's just going to make for a good crust. It's going to come out nice and pretty. And oh, I love it. So then right here, you know, I just took like the seasoning that was in the bottom of the bowl, make sure that I, um, I just took the seasoning that was in the bottom of, of the bowl and just like coated the bottom of the turkey breast, you know, to get the bottom of the turkey breast a little extra love or whatever. Then I went in with this seasoning also, y'all, that buttery garlic and herb. See how I'm keeping a theme? It was just the best. It just, y'all, oh, and then the outcome, the flavor when you keep things simple like this, the flavor be crazy. Listen, it was like garlic and herb butter to perfection. Y'all already know butter pear with turkey so well. So this is what my turkey is looking like, y'all. So now I'm just about to get it in my roaster. I decided to do like a roaster. I seen a couple of little naked pieces up here. So y'all know I had to hit that, get that cavity, get that cavity. But y'all, I decided to use um, my roaster oven on this because um, I just want to like roast it nice and slow and just, oh, because I know I was going to get that crust on the top. Listen, baby, this came out bomb, bomb diggity y'all for real so like i said i'm just coating a little bit of extra pe a little bit of the um naked pieces if you will on the turkey breast just to assure that all the flavor is going to be evenly you know distributed so y'all so now we are definitely all set with this look at that don't that look good before it even go in there and we is not leaving that to waste like i said that's gonna go underneath the turkey i'm gonna lift that bad boy up and listen, y'all, Whew, this was when the turkey breast was just like basically done. I just want to go ahead and baste it. And then I think I let it go, y'all, for like another 20, 25 minutes. I think this was, it had like 20, 25 minutes until it was done. But I took them juices at the bottom of that pan, which is nothing but like herb, butter, flavor. Basted that joint with it. Yo, perfection. And here it is, all nice and done. I let it go again for, like I said, another 20, 25 minutes. I did use my temperature probe on this, you guys. I did use my temp probe because I wanted a juicy turkey. So I wanted to make sure I was in between 166 and 170 as far as the internal temp. You know, so um, this is what it's looking like. Juicy. You see that crust? That crust that it formed? Oh, honey. Yes. So 
I um, carve my breasts off the bone and now I'm just about to slice it up y'all and the next scene y'all be seeing me put some gravy on it I took the turkey drippings I did a little bone um, turkey what did I use turkey what is it called turkey bone broth um, gravy mix added the turkey drippings and basically this is what is looking like I sprinkled a little tiny bit more seasoning on there and that is the home the gravy and honey this is it this is it this is it pour that gravy on there if you want to just keep it you know put your gravy to the side or whatever do whatever but that gravy was just like so buttery it's so flavorful i was like listen we gotta pour it on look at that just bomb just bomb so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys can't wait to see you in the next one Mwah.